What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J, but most people just call me Jossie. And I returned the 16 inch MacBook Pro for the Dell XPS 15 7590. Those of you who've been following my channel for the past few months, you know that it's been a journey um, trying to find a new laptop. So. I wanna say about four months ago, I released a video saying that I'm selling my 13 inch MacBook Pro. And then after that, I ended up purchasing the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is an amazing laptop. And if you wanna get that laptop and aren't even considering going PC, you should get it. It's phenomenal. I didn't return it because it was a bad laptop. I just got an amazing deal on this XPS 15 7590. It seems like a lot of people have been afraid to switch over to PC because they're so comfortable being in the Mac ecosystem. But I've noticed ever since Dell released this XPS model, I've started to see more and more YouTubers make the switch from Mac to PC or specifically from their older generation MacBook Pros to the Dell XPS. One of the influencers that influenced me is Sarah Dietschy. She switched from the MacBook Pro to the Dell XPS, and we have similar workflows as content creators. So I started feeling more and more comfortable about making the switch. The XPS 15 7590 that I purchased comes packed with a 9th gen i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of SSD, six cores, four gigs of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics, and has a 15.6 inch 4K OLED display at 60 hertz. I wanna let you know that my goal isn't to bore you with specs. The laptop's been out for a year now, so most people already know what it offers. I wanna talk about my real life experiences and why I think it will be a good option if you don't wanna break the bank on a MacBook Pro or if you just want to switch from Mac OS to PC. I like the aesthetics of the XPS 15 7590 it looks pretty much the same as the previous model. It has a carbon fiber keyboard deck, aluminum top and aluminum bottom, which makes the XPS 15 look similar to the MacBook Pro, which isn't a bad thing, let's be honest. I think we all can agree that Apple is the standard when it comes to laptop aesthetics. The screen is bright, has good color accuracy, but can be a bit saturated. I don't have a problem with that other than when I'm video editing and my footage looks a bit inaccurate to what others can see on their displays. The main reason I got the XPS is to render and export large video files faster so I can more consistently edit and release YouTube videos. So if you find yourself in a similar situation, you won't be disappointed by going with the XPS 15. And let me give you some numbers so I can back up what I'm saying. I exported a 1080p video that was 18 minutes and 30 seconds long and 20 minutes and 24 seconds. I also edited a 4K 9 minute and 43 second video in less than 16 minutes. And that's all thanks to the dedicated graphics and CUDA cores. And to put it in perspective, the entry level i9 16 inch MacBook Pro that I had took 45 minutes to export a 1080p in 13 minutes. I made specs the top of my priority, especially since I was gonna make the jump from Mac OS to PC. I made sure that whatever laptop I get, it better have the specs I need to be a more effective and efficient content creator. I am a full-time software developer, specifically front-end development, so programming is an essential part of what I do. And I really enjoy using Git Bash with Windows 10, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoy the user experience of File Explorer. I like it a lot more. I like navigating files a lot more on PC than I do on Mac OS. I just like File Explorer way more than Finder. I find it a lot easier to edit files, manipulate, copy, delete files, access files, get the file path, all that nerdy stuff that I'm talking about. It's actually really important, even when you're creating YouTube videos are constantly making new folders for footage and assets. The XPS keyboard is great, from the typing experience to the responsiveness of the keys. 
keyboard functionality is important because it is the fundamental input device on laptops and should never be overlooked. In terms of tactile feedback, aka feel and quality, the XPS passes the keyboard deck flex test because when I press hard on the keys, they don't flex or give way, which is a good sign of an optimal typing experience. The trackpad is responsive using Microsoft Precision drivers, almost too responsive at times, but you can change that in the settings. The trackpad is also pretty large when comparing it to other PCs, but pretty small when comparing it to the 15 or 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm still having trouble right clicking. But that's always been a problem for me on every PC trackpad I've used. Hopefully in the future, Dell will give us more space for our trackpad as well. Ports, something I've missed while having the MacBook Pro. The XPS has two USB type A ports, one USB type C, one Thunderbolt 3, HDMI 2.0, analog headphone, SD cards, and a Noble lock port. I'm pretty sure that the battery life is supposed to be 20 hours. I definitely can't verify that. If I'm being honest with you, totally transparent. I haven't been really paying attention to the battery life or observing it. I don't think it's 20 hours, especially not in like a real world situation. And I use a lot of heavy CPU and GPU applications, but I mean, I usually keep my laptop charged anyways. So that's really all I have to say about battery life. Obviously there's no perfect laptop. Um, and even the ones that are perfect, they're like four or five grand. I have a few cons to point out about this laptop that you should maybe consider before you decide to buy it because some of them could be deal breakers. It depends on what you care about. And the first one is the trackpad size. And that's a little weird because if you're coming from a PC, this is probably a better trackpad than what you've had. I think the Dell XPS probably has the best PC trackpad, but if you're coming from any MacBook, then this trackpad isn't as good. It definitely isn't as big as I'd like it to be. I wish there was more real estate for the trackpad, like how Apple gives a lot of real estate to the 15 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. So hopefully in the next release, Dell will give us a bigger trackpad. Another thing I didn't particularly care for is swiping through desktops. It was like a bit jumpy. It wasn't as smooth, like panning from one desktop to the other wasn't as smooth as I like. And that's probably because I'm coming from a MacBook Pro where swiping through different screens is a lot more smoother. It's not like a deal breaker by any stretch and you probably won't notice it that much. Maybe I'm just a stickler, but it was a bit like jumpy. I also had to download a few drivers. I did notice that my Bluetooth connection was a little finicky with the MX Master 3 and the MX keys for some reason. I'm not sure why I was losing connection. I haven't noticed that with any other devices, but I will say that the Bluetooth toggle button to turn it on and off disappeared. So I had to like install the drivers to get that button back. I'm not sure why, maybe it was some, maybe it was user error, but I thought that was weird. I also had to download the drivers for the Nvidia graphics card and I'm not used to that. It's, it wasn't a pain or anything like that, but it was a bit weird because I'm used to laptops just working out of the box like MacBooks. So those aren't really deal breakers. And out of all the cons, the one thing that I really just didn't particularly care for is the audio. The speakers are like in the bottom and in the front. And most laptops have top firing speakers anyways. And I was a bit disappointed with the audio. Hopefully in the next release, the audio will be better. Other than that, there really aren't any issues that I have with this laptop. I don't regret returning my MacBook Pro for this laptop at all. I've saved so much money. I've saved so much bread and I really enjoy this laptop and I would recommend it to really anyone. And also keep in mind that I only spent like 1100 for this laptop and I'm getting all these specs and the display is great. I like the size of it. It's a 15 inch laptop solid battery life, like there's really no complaints. I had to really look for things. With that being said, that concludes this video. If you liked it at all, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, 
do me a favor and comment down below some of the videos that you would like to see regarding the XPS or any other tech. I'm trying to do more content that's like tech consumer because it's something that I really enjoy and I've seen some success with those kind of videos. So comment below some of your thoughts, share it with someone who you think might benefit from it, subscribe to join the community. And as always, stay blessed and stay safe out here, y'all. Seriously, peace. Thank you.